Many years ago, in the video industry, we shot with beta cams that had a shoulder mount so you could hold the camera steady when handheld. I vividly remember the time I ran with the camera and it was hugging my shoulder. These were very big cameras with substantial weight to them. The size and weight of the camera helped us hold the camera steady. The shoulder pad made the camera comfortable to hold. Today's cameras are a lot smaller and lighter. In fact, they are so light that it's hard to hold them steady and they feel very unprofessional. I have seen very shaky footage from them. That was the difference between 8mm home movies and the more professional 16mm films. The cameras were bigger. The DP30 filmmaking system is a very complete rigging system that adds mass and balance to these little cameras. This is Alan Halfield for Personal View. Today, I'm going to be adding accessories to the DP30 cage system to better balance it for handheld use. To assemble this rig, I have taken my GH5 and put it in the DP30 cage with a 15 millimeter base plate. Professional cameras have always had accessories added to them to make them better for using. These included items such as follow focus and map box. The 15 millimeter rails are added to the base plate to hold these helpful accessories. With these rails installed, a professional camera feels more complete. They originally were used on motion picture cameras for making movies. Hollywood still uses them today in all their big productions. If you watch the films, most outdoor shots have a graduated filter to darken the sky. The matte box holds these filters. Cinema lenses are hard to focus, so the follow focus is essential to be able to pull focus. You turn a wheel instead of the lens. It is much easier and helpful for predictable focus. I remember having a hand grip for my ENG lens on my big camera and really appreciate having a good handle to hold on to and to control the camera. There is also a shoulder pad that will be added to the cage system. This makes the whole system a lot better to balance on the shoulder and it will be a lot more comfortable. Panasonic makes the DMW XLR1 audio adapter for the GH5. The problem with the cage is that when the handle is mounted, you cannot put the Panasonic adapter on the camera. It doesn't fit. So JTC came up with this nifty little adapter called the HA01 Plus, and that slides into the hot shoe of the GH5. First thing you have to do is make sure that the mount that holds it is open so it will slide in. And then you close it like so. And then you take the other end of it and slide it into the hot shoe of the cage like so. Now I can put my XLR adapter box into the hot shoe and lock it. Now there's an extra cable. This little cable goes into the cage. It's a USB-C cable. And the reason I do that I will tell you later because it will help us. Once you have all the cables connected, you can turn on the GH5. If the audio adapter does not come on, push the little activate button on the uh, HA01. And the light comes on the back of the audio adapter. Now you can record audio in the GH5 on a cage with this handle being here. There is a switch on the HA01 base unit. It says normal and then JTZ link. You want it in normal. The reason why is because the audio adapter will not power up if it's in JTZ link only. 
The next order of business is to take the JTZ hand grip and arm and add them to the cage. To do that, I need to first install this little rosette adapter into the handle. In order to do that, I have to take off this little door so I can install a screw which I take out of this box of stuff. And it's a long little quarter twenty screw and that goes into here on the side where the door was. And then goes all the way through. And you just keep screwing till it pops out on the other side. And then you take the rosette adapter and you screw the two together. That's what I'm doing right now. And the only time you really need a screwdriver in this whole setup is just to tighten this flathead screw because you want it nice and tight, like so. And then put your little cap back on the handle because it makes it more comfortable when holding. And then you take the arm and install it onto the handle by turning this thumb screw on the rosette adapter. That's why the rosette adapter is here. So you can actually change the angle of the handle. And it just takes a few screws to screw it in. Now that we have the handle installed on the arm, let's put the arm onto the cage. So, on this cage, you have two places you can put it. You can put it on the 15 millimeter rods, or you can put it onto the cage itself. For this demonstration, we're going to put it onto the 15 millimeter rods. And it just screws into the airy rosette. And uh, I'm going to adjust it so the handle sticks up like so for this demonstration. Because what we're going to do now is to install the cables onto the handle. First cable I'm going to install is the J6 cable, which is the 3.5 millimeter cable, and that goes into the handle, and that goes into the cage. The J6 cable will only allow me to use the red start-stop button on the handle with a Panasonic camera. None of the other functions on this handle work. So we're going to remove the J6 cable and get our handy LANC cable which is also marked on the cage and there's a 2.5 millimeter LANC port next to the USB-C port and then you can plug it into the top of the handle you can also plug it into the right side of the handle like so but I actually prefer it on the left hand side down here like so then I will take the cables and uh, put them in the cable holders but I will extend the handle first, like so. 
Now you'll see that this fits very nicely. This cable fits nice in this cable holder. The other end of the spring I put into the cable holder on the other side. And now the LANC cable is now installed. And when I turn the GH5 on, I don't see any lights on the handle or the XLR adapter, so I have to push activate on the uh, HA01. And now the audio adapter and the handle now have their lights on, which means that this handle is now communicating with the cage and the camera. And so we're going to move it over here now. So I can show you what the handle actually does. When I hit record on the camera, it starts recording. With this handle, you can push the focus button in and the camera will focus. You cannot use the actual rocker to adjust the focus manually on a Panasonic camera. If you hit the record button, the camera starts recording. And again, I can check focus while I'm recording. And then I can stop recording. But what's really cool, if I take off this lens, and grab my trusty 45 to 175 Lumix power zoom, I can now turn the camera back on. After I power the camera back on, I need to turn on the HA01 and activate the control. And now the light is blue on the handle. Now that I have the power zoom installed, you can see that it will zoom. Now it's time to get the unit ready for putting on my shoulder. I have over here a shoulder pad and some rails. I'll put the rails in. And now we'll take the shoulder pad and put on the shoulder pad attachment device that will attach to the base plate. And grab the screws out of this little box. And put them into the attachment device. And now there's a little Allen wrench inside the box and we add that by screwing the screws into the shoulder pad attachment. Now we can attach the shoulder pad to the camera. On the plate that came with the cage there is a groove underneath the, the cheese plate. You slide in the attachment and then lock it. And now we have a shoulder pad. And we can put the camera 
on our shoulder like so. Right now the camera is next to me and that would be fine if I had an electronic viewfinder like the one that JTZ sells. But what I want to do is push the camera farther forward so I can use the LCD. And the way you do that is you actually remove the shoulder pad and then remove the short plate that came with the cage because we have a longer cheese plate right here. I also added a QR plate. You can't put a QR plate on there when you have the shoulder pad on. I will be able to leave the shoulder pad on while I have this QR plate on here because I'm going to attach the shoulder plate again, same way as I did on the other one, and lock it. And now we can put the camera back on my shoulder again. This time I'm going to lower the handle into a position that's more comfortable. And I'm going to rotate it. And now the camera is now farther forward. As you can see, it is now on my shoulder. And now I will pull out my LCD and I can look at my LCD. I can also put a loop on the LCD like JTZ cells. Also, the back of this has rails so I can mount a battery pack holder or other accessories on the back and better balance the back of this unit. The rig is finally assembled and you are ready to shoot. This has been Alan Halfhill for Personal View. And please subscribe to our YouTube channel to see more videos like this one. Happy shooting!